Most of us have heard of Harlem, the Upper East Side, Kipps Bay, I could go on and on. But have you ever heard of Minnehanuk? No? How about Hogs Island? That either? Blackwell's Island ring a bell? Welfare Island? These are the past names of what we now call Roosevelt Island, Manhattan Island's kid sibling. Roosevelt Island is tiny, running 2 miles long and 800 feet wide. That's roughly the same distance from 46th Street to 84th Street in Manhattan. While it's mostly residential today, the island has a history of housing hospitals and asylums throughout the 19th and 20th century. In 1975, the smallpox hospital became a city landmark. However, no construction was done on it until years later. The city added reinforcement to the walls so that it wouldn't cave in, and they added lights around it so that it could be illuminated at night for nighttime visitors. In 1856, the infamous Renwick Smallpox Hospital opened its doors on the island's southernmost part. For 19 years, the hospital treated 7,000 smallpox patients a year, with about 750 deaths occurring there annually. By 1950, the hospital and its surrounding structures were abandoned, and the buildings deteriorated. While the smallpox hospital grounds still remain a popular tourist destination today, it is actually off limits to, for trespassing due to its unstable structure. What remains today are the spooky gothic ruins that stand hollow day and night. People have reported creepy encounters with spirits, leading some to dub this location as one of America's most haunted places. What do you think? 